Kerry Ramo and Avangard Omsk play host to Boris Astana. I can see it's pretty cold outside in Omsk. Siberia is not Florida, Steve. Apparently. Not even five minutes into the game, Alexei Litvinenko lines up Sergei Kostitsin. And did you know that there's no hitting in the KHL? Well, this should dispel that myth. Kostitsin is down, and his teammate Pavel Valentenko steps up. He's pissed off, and the fists are flying. Valentenko played four seasons in the AHL and was always known for his toughness. It doesn't surprise me he took no time to throw the mitts off. Both get five minutes for fighting, and on top of that, Valentenko gets a minor for roughing and a 10-minute misconduct. Kostitsin turned out to be okay after the collision and returned to the game. Early in the second now, Boris is on the power play, and none other than Alexei Litvinenko opens up the scoring with this blast from the blue line on the power play, 1-0 Boris. Halfway mark of the game, Avangard's looking for a tying goal and they get it here. Igor Volkov shoots it, Timu Lasala saves, rebound, and Mati Kuparinen nets it, 1-1. Kuparinen scores his second in the KHL. He joined Avangard from Kalpa in Finland this season. 38 seconds later, Alex Popov sauces it to Oleg Piganovic and he connects 2-1 Avangard. Piganovic was recently traded from Amor. He promised he won't shave his stash until he scores a goal this season and it finally happened. I'm sure his girlfriend will appreciate it right at the end of November too. Almost halfway through the third now, Boris is on the power play, Roman Starchenko shoots it from the blue line, and it's in. We're tied at twos. Dmitry Uper tipped the puck on its way, and he gets credited with the goal. That's his eighth of the season. Late in the third now, Timu Lasila is a bit careless behind the net. Vladimir Pervushin almost makes him pay, but the score remains the same, and we head to overtime. Avangard on the power play now, Nikita Nikitin has the puck, waits, passes to Thomas Zaborski, and he scores. Avangard wins it. Avangard is amazing when it comes to extra frame. That's their 6 OT win this season. Overall, there were 11 times when they finished either in OT or shootout, and they lost only three of them. Impressive indeed. Zaborski scores his 13th of the season, 3-2 OT win for Omsk.